Hello guys, MGH here and welcome to a new video where I'm going to be discussing my transfer targets for my Arsenal career mode, which I am delighted to announce will be starting on Sunday evening. I'm really hoping my internet should be sorted. Just to quickly update you on that, Engineer coming on Friday night should be getting the internet working. That's how it should be working out and I'm getting the early release of FIFA 14 with the season ticket, downloading it on Saturday night, playing it on Sunday uploading on Sunday night. The Arsenal career mode will be beginning on Sunday night, I hope. Um, I'll update you on that on Twitter, so don't forget to follow me on there. But now let's get into the video. Um, and like I said, I just want to discuss some players that I would really like to sign in this Arsenal career mode. But before I get there, I just want to say, guys, I think this Arsenal career mode, you know, the default squad that comes with the game is going to be incredibly strong. The only issue with it is, obviously, like in real life, it's lacking numbers. The squad depth is not very good for Arsenal at the moment. So the players that I would willi would be willing to bring in, I'm thinking there's only a couple that I would use in the first team. But actually, the majority of them would be squad rotational players, having them on the bench or the reserves just to add some squad depth. So what I would like you guys to do is throughout this video... Please leave comments. Let's see if we can hit something stupid like five, maybe even 10,000 comments of just players that you would like me to sign. And what I'll do is I'll use a very neat feature where I can, you know, I can ask this bit of software to tell me how many names were mentioned, how many times. And then from that, I can see what you guys want me to get. And you guys will see what I want to get. And it should be a good fun time in this Arsenal career mode, especially with signing players. So, to start off with defensively, so I'm not talking just defenders, I'm talking defenders, midfielders, defensive wingers, uh, anything that can help the team defend will be what we talk about first of all. So, with Arsenal, another thing to mention by the way is I haven't got my normal setup at the moment, so what I'll, what I'll do is I'll put pictures and maybe a bit of gameplay in the background if I can find any. The first player I want to talk about is something that I think Arsenal really need um, maybe not really need, but definitely need something there as you know squad depth because we're we're lacking it, and that is a defensive midfielder, a solid defensive midfielder. You could argue Flamini brings that to the table, but he I wouldn't call him world class. I'd say he's a decent signing. He's going to help us out, but I'm talking a good defensive midfielder with great passing capabilities, and this isn't going to go down well because the player I'm going to talk about is let's just say um, won't go down well with most Arsenal fans. And you can probably tell what I'm going to say, and that is Alex Song. Alex Song left in a pretty abysmal way when he left Arsenal. He was basically turning up to training late. Arsene Wenger said, you know what, your attitude stinks, off you go. Barcelona bought him, and he is barely playing. Um, well, from what I've seen with Barcelona, he is obviously a squad rotational player. He's often on the bench, and when he does play, sometimes even um, as centre-back, he's just drafted into midfield, and he sits in front of the defence, and from what I can tell, he actually does a decent job. He is still a good player in my eyes. It's just, I feel like that kind of talent, I, you can call him what you want for being an arsehole, um, but he's, he's a good player. He is talented. If Barcelona wanted him, that says enough, right? I mean, you think of all the assists he provided for Robin van Persie and other players. So I think Alex Song would be a very good signing for, uh, for Arsenal again. And I think it's a kind of realistic signing. I'm not talking about in real life. But within the game, I think bringing Alex Song back to Arsenal is, is kind of realistic. I want to keep it as realistic as I can. I don't want to make any stupid signings straight away. Um, we can leave that for a few seasons in when, you know, realism doesn't matter because we're talking five years in the future. Um, so I think Alex Song is someone I would like to bring back. It's not 100%. I'd say it's a 50-50. But, um, you know, we're, we're very strong in midfield and there is a few players I could use in that CDM role including Ramsey, you could even use Wilshere there, you've got Flamini, Diaby when he's fit, obviously in FIFA he will be fit pretty much, unless he gets injured while playing, uh, or in the training injury and things like that, so that's what's going to kick off this video, that is Alex Song as a CDM. Other defensive players I was looking at, uh, mainly on the demo actually, I tried these guys out, that was Bartra from the Barcelona, he's one of the youngsters, he's a centre-back, he's got very nice stats actually for such a young player, He's strong, he is relatively quick, and his tackling is outstanding. Great in the air as well, and he would be a future prospect. So I think what would happen is I would have to loan him in the first season and add an optional you know, purchase at the end of that season onto the contract of, I'm guessing it's going to be quite expensive because he is one of the best young players in the game. So Bartre is someone that I would definitely be looking at. 
um, to sort out, you know, because I want to do at least a minimum of two, three seasons as Arsenal, and then I'd be taking a job. I'm not going to start a new career mode, I don't think, in the in the first few months, that's for sure. So Bartra is another good option, I think, for me. Let me know what you think about that, because is it a realistic signing? Probably not. The next one was Supertic. Now, you could argue that Hummels, that, that, um, that partnership at Dortmund of Hummels and Supertic, you know, you'd say Hummels is the better player, but he he's a very loyal player to Dortmund. I'm sure he's had many offers to Bayern. I think he was approached by Barcelona last season, I think. Um, and for me, it's, it's, it's probably a bit too much to sign him at Arsenal. And also, I would feel like I have to play him in the team, when actually I really like the koscielny mertesacker combination. Um, I'm hoping Mertesacker is a lot easier to use in this game, by the way. So I was thinking... Well, what about Supertic? He's a, he speaks English absolutely fantastically because I think he originates from America um, and he is a very solid defender, especially in the demo. I was so impressed with him because he, not only is he, you know, kind of quick, he's got those, you know, mid-70s sprint speed and acceleration. He's really strong and his balance and agility is good too. So he's a really good sweeping defender with height as well. So I think he would be brilliant to, to step in for Koscielny or Mertesacker when they're injured. For Marlon, I'm not too sure about. We'll see how good he is, but um, in FIFA 14, he should be pretty decent. Um, and we'll see how much he plays for Arsenal in real life as well. So those were the kind of defensive players I'm looking at. That's Alex Song, Bartra and Subotic. Now it's your guys' turn. Please leave a comment. Tell me any defensive players that you would like me to sign. As long as they're semi-realistic. You know, I'm not going to go and buy Danny Alves or, you know, Vincent Company or anything like that. Just let me know any realistic signings you think Arsenal could make in real life. And any players that would be decent in FIFA. So moving on to attacking. Because I've, I've pretty much left attacking midfielders out. Because we've got so many strong midfielders. I don't see an issue. I really don't. I'm not going to sign a player if there's no need for him. We can use the budget for, you know, my youth setup, which I'm going to get going for FA Cup matches and all that stuff. So now we're going to move on to pretty much strikers and centre forwards. The first one I want to talk about is someone that is very close to me in my heart through FIFA 13. And that is, of course, Insigne. Now, I know Insigne is quite young. He's an up and coming Italian player. Very unlikely that he would come to Arsenal at such a young age. But I don't see that as an issue in the future. I think he would be a player that Arsene Wenger would like to bring to the club. He plays the Arsenal way, if you see what I mean. He's very quick on the ball, great passing. And, of course, the main thing about Insigne is the, the, the pace, the agility that he would bring to the team. Playing him out on the wing if I need to, or just behind a striker, he would be so deadly. Um, but whether he's going to be that good in FIFA 14, I'm not sure. I've already discussed this before. I feel like short, weak players... They're not very good in this game. It's all about the strength and the, the height of the players in this game. So I think Insigne may, may not be the best option. We'll see how they play. Uh, maybe what I could do is a separate video outside of the career mode playing with Insigne uh, in a, just a normal head-to-head -head match or something like that. The next one or the next two are strikers. I guess you could argue Insigne is you know behind the striker kind of player, a CF. Um, we'll move on to strikers now. And these two... I think I'm going to go for one of them, and I need your guys' help. So tell me which one you prefer, or if there's any other options. So the first one, it's pretty much a 50-50. I don't know how this will go down. The first one is Ibrahimovic. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, pa, as if he would sign for Arsenal. But, newsflash to people who don't know this, Ibrahimovic almost joined Arsenal when he was a youngster. And Wenger just really didn't like his attitude and uh, didn't want him, which... You could argue was a bad thing considering how good Ibrahimovic is, but we may not have signed Henri or other players at that time, so it actually worked out well. But Ibrahimovic, I guess, would be willing to play for Arsenal sometime in his in his career as he you know drops out to the round 33-34, which I'm hoping in the FIFA 14 is when they start to drop, not 30, because otherwise Ibrahimovic would be a bad signing, seeing as he will be 31 when the game is released. So Ibrahimovic is definitely a player I want, mainly because of what he's done in the demo for me. So I will have a couple of clips for Ibrahimovic because I saved some up before my internet problems. So you'll be seeing some good goals from Ibrahimovic there, hopefully. Um, but it's not just the fact that he is obviously a good, well-established player. He would bring so much to the team, not just skillful play and passing, but the, the aerial presence he has, he's basically a perfect swap for Giroud, who I will be playing at first. So bringing in Ibrahimovic on the odd game, um, you know, swapping him in with Ibrahimovic and uh, Giroud there would be a great option for me. Now, moving on to the last target, the, the player that I really, I, th I think I really want to bring in, 
And uh, I've got to give credit to someone who messaged me on YouTube. I'm sorry, I haven't got your name handy, but I do appreciate it. If you're watching this, thank you very much. He suggested Yilmaz from Galatasaray. This guy in FIFA 13, unfortunately, you couldn't get him in career mode, if, uh, if I'm not correct. Um, but he was fantastic. He's so strong. He is so, so, so strong. And he's got pace. Now, in Ultimate Team, this is what I'm basing my, my ideas on. In Ultimate Team, a very, very good player. Um, and he's very balanced. He's very good at, at holding up the play. He's good at shooting. He's good at heading. He's good at passing. He's good at everything. He's got everything I'm looking for in a striker, specifically in FIFA 14. The fact he's strong and pacey and has good finishing um, and good heading as well. So I think Yilmaz would be a very good striker to buy. But that's it, guys. Those are all of my targets. Let me know who you want me to sign. And like I said, the career mode should be starting this Sunday evening. And um, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I mean, I've been playing GTA so much recently, but already I know that FIFA 14 is around the corner and that, that, that excitement in my belly is starting to rumble. So there we go. We're going to be starting it soon. Leave some comments. Leave hundreds of comments if you want to. If any players you want me to sign, and I will take a look. But thank you for watching this, guys. Thank you for being patient with my uploads. I'm sorry I couldn't provide a more entertaining background here, but it's a little bit difficult at the moment without internet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Sunday evening.